Well, hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 3 with the Grand Arena. The way his second opponent for the week is Rubaruba Morel. Mar Mar I know I've fought them multiple times before by this point, but they're from Revan's Remnant. They got 697 1000 legacy score, 11 mil GP. And yeah, let's see what kind of shenanigans we got to put up with here. Okay, so a Saw team, uh, Rex, a weird Hondo Nest. L3 team, CLS, Hera. Uh, I know there's going to be GLs down here, so we'll be starting down here. Okay, Finn team, Leia, LV, Ray, and then Darth Malgus. Okay, then. Um, Yeah. So the Raycron, okay, so they whenever there is debuffs, they recover health protection. 99% health steal, though. That's a lot. Of course, it's, you know, no deaths until everyone falls below 100% health shenanigans. And obviously, the Holdocron. So, forgot that uh, Doya doesn't have as many Doubt Crons as um, I have on my main. So, yeah, whatever. It's more of my fault than anything, but also, it's kind of hard to roll them. Uh, consistently enough. So, um, yeah. Did she really lose that much protection that quickly? Or am I just tripping? Why in the world is he not losing that protection? Whatever. That will bah humbug to you too, Holdo. Oof. Oh, well, fuck me. That's not good. Of course, she manages to land. Another magical whirlwind on the one person that I need to not die. Please burn in hell, Ray. I do not like you. Nobody likes you. Your Datacron is bullshit. The only people that like it is whenever it fucking works for you. Fighting it? No. Well, it's not even the it's not even the Raycron. It's the fucking Holdocron that's causing issues. You know. That's the stupid part of all this. How has she not lost all of her protection already? We've been... There we go. I was about to say, we've, we've gotten her knocked I don't know how many times. And the game just keeps saying no? Like, bro, what? Now the issue is going to be is landing the killing blow on... Not killing blow, but a massive amount of hits on Ray ensure she dies. Well, now it's gonna even be harder because of the fact that I don't have R2 to help me now, so. Come on, Leia. God damn it. I wanna mention how much I hate these stupid resistance crons. I hate them, absolutely hate them. Not a fan. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Taking your 18,000 fucking turns. Stop taking turns, you bitch. Okay, back-to-back -back AoEs. Okay, we got it. You you fucking have goddamn Harry Houdini magic in your, in your system. Like, we get it. Trust me. We, we fucking get it, Ray. You love using your whirlwind. You love doing your leaps, your blahs, your bleeds and blows, and whatever the fuck else you can do. Oh my fucking god. Just please let me get them killed in an AoE for damn sake. Like, I, I get them this close to death, and then she just magically stays alive. 
It's because of that fucking Hellsteel on this Datacron. I, they, they, they really, really, really need to cap the amount of stats you can roll on each data card. Being able to roll 100 plus percentage of any stat is ridiculous. Like, being able to do that is absolute insanity. Like, I don't know why they keep looking at that and go, Good. Bend it. Like, I just, I legitimately do not get it. You have got to be fucking joking me, game. I'm going to time out against a Ray Bin duo because of the fucking hell steal that they have. And before you numb to these come at me, oh, it's your Datacron, or oh, it's this or that. No, it's their Datacron that's causing the issues. It's their fucking team. You can't counter a team that has this much health steal. Let's see what Leia does now with their stupid protection up, potency, blah, 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 shit. I'm so done with the Resistance Crons. I fucking hate them. They are a blight on this game. They need to be never reintroduced ever again. Just fucking, for the love of God, stop introducing them. Just stop. Just stop, CG, stop. Just full stop. Just full stop. They're not fun to fight. I mean, are they fun to use? Sometimes, yeah, but most of the time they go on defense, so when am I going to be using them on attack? Basically never. So, you know? Bane did something. I legitimately do not understand how you can look at this team and think this is acceptable. Or you look at the amount of fucking people that are spending ass loads of resources to uh, constantly be refreshing um, the store for datacron resources and shit. Probably, honestly. But you really don't give a shit what people say. You're just like, I can't hear you, blah 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 blah. As they're counting the other way to the fucking bank. I just... It, it's literally the same shit every single time on the way. We run into some stupid ass fucking raid team that ruins my day. And it's all back to square one basically every single time without fail. Every time. Every single time without fail. Like just straight up, it's just... I don't get it. Like, this team, like I said, already has a ridiculous, like, variation of ways to recover health without needing almost 100%. Like, another 100%, like, health steal on top of everything else. Um. <clears throat> just don't get it. Just don't get it. Oh, that's cool. I love losing my entire team to one whirlwind. Or bolts, whatever you fucking call it. I know it's not the whirlwind, but you know what I mean. The good thing is, is this bastard doesn't have the uh, healing immunity on me on him. Oh, that makes sense. I love doing zero damage. Why she keeps still have keeps a little bit of that? Why is she still getting bonus protection? Like. You have no protection left. Why are you still gaining bonus protection? Whatever the fuck that shit is. Now it's gone. Good. We're gonna hit right again, so that way she is shocked. 
maybe I'll slow her down a little bit. <laughs> no, it almost didn't make a difference. 500k damage, whatever. She doesn't give a shit. Debuffs? What are those? We don't do those around here. Ray is all, all powerful, all seeing, all dancing. She doesn't get to sack, uh, deal with your silly little debuffs. You think Ray wants to be debuffed? Well, too bad. She gets to do what she wants. Fuck you, Ray. And of course, we have a Doubtcron, the offense boost. I'm not even going to read the stats because I just do not give a shit at this point. I just cannot care. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm done caring. Like, just don't give a shit what the stats are anymore. They don't make a lick of difference, anyways, to me. Of course. Fuck you, Maul. We haven't even gotten to to um whatever. Game think of the word right now, I'm so fucking flustered. Whatever. Whatever, I think I am just I don't even know anymore. I'm just here. The reason why I didn't go into ult is because I knew he was immediately going to turn around and do that. So, yeah. Also, Rue... Rue, Rue, Rue I, I don't know how to fucking pronounce the dude's name. I, my, it gets, I get tongue twisted on it, but they are attacking. So, that's interesting to see. Probably because they saw me fail against Ray and were like, ooh, a free win. Ha 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 ha. Let's go ahead and start attacking now. Hurt, 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 hurt. Do you blame them though? No, not really. I I would do that as well. So. Oh, very cool, Vader. Very cool. You got anything else to say? No? Fuck you. Uh, Darth Malgus has. Potency, secret avoidance, blah, 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 blah. They inflict debuffs to deal extra damage. Shocking, I know. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, we'll take in the Calcron, why not? Might as well. And yeah, I know, this is like a high relic team as well, but... We gotta kill this team somehow. Erm... Um, Oh, fuck me. They went for Bastila with the... With the, uh, doubt. That's annoying. Well, it should be gone for now. Theoretically. Nope, it's back on... Mace. But that's fine. turn with anyone at this point. There we go. Bye bye Malgus. Of course we may lose Bastila. Uh, hold on. Okay, that really do what I wanted, but that's fine. Um. Oh, why did I not do the other move? Damn it. Okay, let's give it to Bastila. How in the world is he still alive? Okay, 
not much longer he wasn't. So Finn uh, has deflection. Never inflict debuffs. They're dealing extra max health damage. That hoopla. Uh, wait, who's the third? Uh, they suggest, I think. Oh, Grandmaster Yoda. Interesting. It's fine with me. Okay, because we really gotta see what's in this back zone. Well, behind this front zone. So. Like, we really got. Really, 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 really need to get back there. Uh, let's go ahead and spread some buffs. Cool. Hope you enjoyed your turn there, team. Uh, team. Resistance, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> whatever they're called. Ah, they're gonna get more turns. Interesting. Ow. Interesting. Erm. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and leap. Get some retribution roll in. And we're gonna knock down the Finny boy. And now for poor Zori. All by her lonesome. Not really. I really do not like the Zori team. Just way... I mean, the whole the whole team, like the premise of the team, is obviously the exposed train, so... You no, know, it makes sense. So Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, whenever they attack, critically hit someone, they're getting 10% off in stacking. Whenever they like, debuff, they deal max, extra max health damage, deflection, crit damage, resistance, crit avoidance. I know I tried this the other day here on Doya with like Darth Sidious, where we're going to try again because without the Doubtcron, I don't know if they'll be able to really slow him down as much. I mean, yeah, I have to also go back and start reworking on Sidious's mods anyways to make him a little bit more durable because, like, he doesn't have as much uh, health as I would like, but I'm working on that. Okay. When is it my turn? Just just out of curiosity, when is it my turn? Please do not cleanse, Scout Trooper. Please, for the love of God, do not cleanse. And of course she cleanses. And there he is, yet again. Lovely. Also, um, CG, why in the hell is Scout, not Scout, Dark Trooper able to get seven stacks of, uh, it's, tr uh, Trooper Squad, Dark Trooper Squad? I thought it was supposed to be capped at four, not s able to go all the way up to seven, you know? See, now it's plummeting, these are taking damage from dots, but, like, it's still the fact of the matter that they were able to get to seven and not capped at four, like, make it make sense game. Okay, so it's the Doubtcron, but it's not the boosted offense, it's the stacking stats, uh, crit damage, nasty, yada yada yada. Um, we might be able to get away with doing, um, Treya then, maybe, maybe, but, um, yeah, we shall see. We shall see. Oh, that hurt. Oh, God, that hurt a lot. Okay, we got a cooldown on Reva. And then, of course, they death marked Treya. Fuck me. Well, there goes Savage in a second if we can't get that stupid. Uh, healing immunity off of him. Yep, there he goes. Please stop doing your stupid leaps. Okay, fuck you, Reva. Yeah, I knew he was gonna kill, kill her. But no.
Oof, he's just not doing damage to Nihilus. I guess going for forever was the good idea. I mean, yeah, a 1v1 is not ideal, but... Um, yeah. He just can't... <laughs> he can't do damage to Nihilus, like... He's just, like, doing all that, and he's just, like... Like, little droplets of damage on him. It's like, wow, that's embarrassing to watch. Okay, so... They've got re resistance and deflection, and inflict dam debuffs to deal extra damage, blah de blah blah blah. Oh well, we'll do a mirror, I guess. I guess. Eh, sure, we'll do extra potency and deflection on Micron. Basically, we have to gun down Vandor. Obviously, because, um... You know, he will constantly be reviving them if we do not, so... Uh, let's just ensure he stays dead. Good. Now we go for you. I probably spent more time talking about that fight going into it before I even did the fight. So. Um, Ewoks, whenever it's like debuffs, they deal extra max health damage. Tenacity being boosted. Uh, I hope Wampa here can do it. If not, I will be incredibly disappointed. But, uh, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. I'm just mad. I'm still mad at Ray, though. I I just... I just... Ray, man, I, I hate Ray so much. Oh, come on. Let me have a turn game. Come on. Oh. No damage against Wicked. Fuck out of here, game. And now, of course, he's going to be able to stealth and start doing damage that way. We can't even counterattack because uh, they stealth Nisa. So, you know, that's spectacular. She has 24 stacks of dots, and she didn't... Oh, 18 stacks before. Now she's up to 32. Uh, let's go ahead. There we go. Okay. Shocking. So it's the offense and speed boost whenever people die. Everyone has to drop below 100% health before they can die. Extra health. Extra health. Extra offense protection and crit chance. We'll then go with those three. And, uh, Hope for the best. Um... Eh, sure, why not? Sorry. My nose itches because of the damn weather. Um. Oh, is everyone already, oh, everyone already chopped below 100% health. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Plague, for doing your job. Of course, I can't get protection back on Marin because she has healing immunity, but, you know, that's besides the point. But, you know, literally... Fuck you, JTR. God damn you. And I can't even get health and protection back on, on Daka because she healing immunity Daka. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what we can do here. Hey, full banners. Let's go. Okay, so the Captain Rex team, well, you know, OG Rex, uh, has potency, tenacity, blah, 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 blah. Whenever they gain buffs, they recover health and protection. Hoopla. I guess we're not going to be splitting up to do a weird star killer team with Seer and Malakos because, you know, well, we're already past that. Having to deal with the Ray and the Ray doing stupid things, but that's also because apparently I didn't take a list of what I'm thinking of. Um I didn't take a Doubt Cron off of defense to make that a possibility. I had to think of the word for a second. Like what am I thinking of? 
All right, let's throw some shock on you. Let's go ahead and cleanse off that lovely tenacity. And now for Mr. Fives. Some more damage. And goodbye, Rex. So, Saw Team has potency, deflection, crit avoidance, protection up, Kron. Naturally. Uh, where are my Jedi? Eh, we'll take Kyle in. Why not? Let's go smash him down into oblivion, I hope. I say I hope because, you know, I don't trust the Jedi teams as a whole. So. Oh, that's not the move I wanted to do, but oh well. Now let's give that to you. That's not cool, but whatever. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. So to start working on getting those stacks of a uh, force connection worked on. Nice. I really do feel like Kyle Katarn has been kind of forgotten over for like ever since more like ever since like Cal came out. I haven't been seeing a lot of Kyle Katarn stuff with the Jedi. Which honestly isn't the worst thing, to, if you think about it, because of the fact, you know, Jedi Knight Cal brings a lot of viability. And then Kyle Katarn's kind of just like stuck there. Like playing second fiddle. But he's still really good. Is he as good as Kai as a uh, Cal? No, but he's still a very solid Jedi. So no. Uh, BLS, of course, they have the extra crit damage to crit avoidance and hoopla. Uh, we're just gonna overkill it with the first order. Really, no point faffing about there. Because if we just knock it out like this, then you know, hip hip, hip hooray for me. His 3 PO only has one Zeta. Hmm. Okay. Whatever tickles is fancy. Poke him. Out of existence, apparently. Uh, I don't know what I am gonna use. I guess we'll malgus it because why the hell not? Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm just randomly scatting because I have no idea what I'm doing. All right then, Malgus. Show them who's the boss. Show them the real power of the dark side. Show them true power. We shall show these rebel scum who they're messing with. I'm trying to do like the. What's his name? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Okay, uh, extra crit damage because. Fuck it. Oh, my back. Alright, uh, sort of rocks down. Here you do you. Hmm. Okay. So he has a relic eight. Um. Uh, bomber, but not a relic nine or eight sass. It's not the bomber that makes or breaks your fleet. It's it's a Sith assassin ship because you kind of need that to be. I really high relic to disrupt the enemy's fleets, you know? Not like the hardest thing to do. I mean, yeah, surely still got to go first before me, but not really gonna slow me down. It's 
time I was trying to do Fleet Arena on my main, on my phone, so I'm like, looking back and forth between the two fights, I'm like, mm. Okay, so they got that done. That's interesting. Don't know why they called in the Interceptor first, but whatever. There goes their bomber. Now to get rid of their sass. Very slowly and very painfully. Oh no, there goes my hangers. Oh no, there goes your hanger. I was about to say, can you please stop hanging on by the bare sliver of health? You're not one of the three pigs from the fairy, the folklore. The three little pigs is what I was thinking of. You're not one of them. You're not gonna live by the hair of your chinny chin chin. No, 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 no. No. Not at all. Not today. Not today, partner. Not today. Alright. Okay, now for Executor. Ah, he finally cleared the South Zone. That's good for him. That's good for him. Huh. All right, let's see how this goes if we do the marked first. Okay, good. Let's get IG out, maybe? Nope. Close, but no cigar. They do realize they can assist one another, right? They don't need, like, special permissions to do that. Just a crazy concept here from Wacky World. But, like, they can assist one another. It's not a crime against humanity to do that. I don't know, it's more ridiculous. The fact that we get them knocked, or Houndsuit's knocked out before we even get through Razor Crest, or the fact that they're still not assisting one another. Never mind, I spoke too soon. They actually started assisting. Apparently all you have to do is shit talk them and then they're like, oh, maybe we should actually do our job and, you know, shoot. We are in ships. Yes, you are in ships. You have the capability to fire those guns on those ships. Shocking, I know that may be, but like, those ships do go burnt for a reason. Uh, Empire with this team... Hopefully, whenever I get done eating, they will have finished their turn. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Finished their attacks, is what I was trying to say. But I guess we will see. Yet again, they're going straight for the site. They really don't like the scythe, do they? I mean, let's be honest, it's a pretty good ship, so I can understand why they don't want it left alive. Um... Who are they calling again? Spy. Yep, spy. Of course they are. Why would they not be? Uh, thank you for showing up, and then thank you for being fodder for my scythe. Thank you, I appreciate it.
and now we simply wait. And the final score over here on Doya against Ruba Ruba Morrow is going to be 2039 and 513. They got through, like on my main, they got through the south zone without much issue. But then they opened the back zone, and I don't think they did anything else other than just like open the back zone and didn't call it good. So, oh wait, no, they dropped one battle on Reva. Okay. Did they drop any battles anywhere else? Um, we can look, but I don't know if they did or not. No, they just dropped one battle on Reva and called it good. So, whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, if you all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.